We're back in the closet. We are back in the closet. Oh my gosh, you're aggressive. In it. Jeff. To win it. <laughs> Let's go. You're aggressive. Water up. You've got two bottles of water here. One for you, one for me. I've got my water Two right. for me, none for you. Wow. You are in it today. Mm. You, speaking of water, but I can talk. It's Monday. And I'm it, ready to roll. Speaking of water bottles, I need to, I, I'm going to like start keeping some on hand when I walk around the gym and places, because let me tell you something. People want water. No. Are you going to have your talking. logo on it and sell them? Sure. I'm not even talking about that. I'm not even talking about people that need water in the gym. I'm talking about there's multiple, uh, so many times. There's been multiple times that someone's come up to me, and not even really in the gym, just anywhere. I need to have these water bottles at all times. Just It doesn't have to be in the gym, anywhere. And guys, it's the guys. Mm -hmm. And they start talking to me about something, mm -hmm. and I have to stare at their teeth. Do you want to know why? I know why. Because they have black specks all in them from chewing tobacco. Blueberries. No, it's not blueberries. They're eating blueberries. No, I wish I could think that they were eating blueberries instead of chewing nasty tobacco. And I'm sorry. Tobacco. Here I am being judgy again. I'm not judging. You can chew what you want to chew. But if you chew tobacco and it's your prerogative, it's nasty, it's gross, it's disgusting, you're going to have mouth cancer. But Maybe. Well, you might. If you do this and if you choose to do this, you need to do a teeth check. Or if you keep doing it, it's going to be a tooth check. Multiple times in a day because all the time they start talking to me and there's black specks all in their teeth where they've been chewing. Even if they've already taken it out, you missed some spots, bruh. Listen, these guys that, because I, I think there are meticulous chewers out there that you wouldn't even know they even chewed. And that's great. You know why? Because they care about how they look. They care about their appearance and they're not sloppy. How do you not? But the people with big old chaws in in the gym Ugh. that are talking to people with it in. And having it all over their teeth. Oh, my gosh. Like, seriously. And you don't even have to have it in at the moment. Like, it's gone. Like, I don't see any traces of it. Like, a big lump in your lip, which is so unattractive. Do you think you'd wash your mouth out once you spit it out? I don't out? think that a lot of people do because it's multiple times. In and out of the gym. And I just stare. So, I want to have a water bottle and be like, hey, buddy. Rinse. Swish and spit. And then come back and talk to me. Swish and spit. Brush your freaking teeth. And then come back and talk to me. And it can be a, it can be a good looking guy, and then he opens his mouth and starts talking, and I'm like, nasty. You ruined it, but it goes nasty. But it but that's good because erectile dysfunction, as we talked about before, you have a higher chance of getting erectile dysfunction if you use nicotine. So these guys might as well have ugly teeth because they're they're going to just get embarrassed well, when I, they they're when their stuff don't work because they have to dip. It doesn't matter if their stuff works or not. It's it's. It's disgusting. Good answer. It's disgusting to look at. Because you can help it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Because it's easily you, preventable. You, there are some things about your mouth or about your teeth or about your face or about your body or whatever that you can't help, and that's fine. But when you can help something, by like when you take the nasty, disgusting stuff out and usually throw it in front of my car because it's always in front of my... Well, I don't know if it's going to do well, it on purpose. Well, you park right beside the... Well, I know everybody knows where I park. They probably do it on purpose, and now they really will. But uh, when you take it out, check your teeth. Just go. Just check your teeth. Get the black stuff out of there. No one wants to see it. No one wants to see you carrying around a spit bottle in the gym... Spitting in it. It's pretty gross, I gotta say. There's a few guys like that. And if they listen to this podcast, I'm sorry. And they leave it sitting I there I love sometimes. you guys. You're great guys. I do. But she doesn't love your teeth. But I can't stand to see the bottle. black in your teeth. And I can't stand to see you spit in a bottle. And how can you work out with that stuff in your mouth anyway? Are they swallowing it if there's not spitting it? Because I watch people because I'm in there all day. And some people work with, out with it in and I never see them spitting. So why do they let it? Maybe they're using the snus. But no, it's a big old bulge. Like, it, I can tell it's like chaw. How do they do that? So either they hold it and they go in the bathroom and spit, which, thank you, I appreciate that. But then I open up the trash can and that hits me in the face. Why do you spit in the toilet? Half the people, they probably wouldn't flush it then. Because let me tell you, I, I work at the gym, I'm there all the time, I see this stuff. I'm sorry, I know women are disgusting too, but I'm picking on the guys tonight. 
Women are they disgusting. They dribble on the seat. Don't flush it. Dribble, dribble. And it drives me crazy. And I think that it's a man because most women, if it's not, if they don't flush, there's going to be toilet paper in there. Unless women don't wipe. And if that's you, nasty. Sorry, I'm preaching. You're preaching. Just flush the freaking toilet. And you know what? If you if you go to the bathroom and you make it stink, do some consideration and spray. There's spray in there sometimes. And if there's bathroom not... Bathroom etiquette by Angie. If there's not, just stay in there for a minute and let that fester get out. Because that's disgusting. Yeah. We try to keep spray in the bathrooms all the time, but people steal it. Who does that? I don't know. Go right to the dollar store and buy your own freaking spray. That's where we get it. At the dollar store? I'm sorry. I am PMSing today. I see that. You're you're going off on attic, bathroom etiquette. Am I right? You Do are, you ever go into the bathroom and just right. not flush it? But our sophisticated listeners are going to have good bathroom etiquette. We are a very sophisticated well, program here. Let's hope so. In the closet. We're very sophisticated. And another thing. <laughs> another thing. It's a joke. They're all adults. You get no laughs. They're all adults to go to the gym. And I walk in in the mornings and there's trash around the trash can and like on top of the trash can. And the trash cans have the little foot thing where you hit the foot thing and the, the lid pops up and you put the trash in there. So I'm thinking, okay, there's trash on the top. This this bag must be really full. And no. it's not. No. That's why you make sure your kids do chores. No. That's why you make sure your kids work in a crappy job so they understand that someday. But, because you once you mentally figure out, like when I go in there and I see, you should be like seeing stuff on the floor and thinking like, somebody's got to clean this up. Yeah, and they say Angie and Chaz will get it. Why do people not like you all so much? Because clearly they don't like you because they're making messes. So maybe, that's maybe it. you should be nicer people and people wouldn't make messes. No, people are going to always make messes. People <laughs> take advantage of nice people. People just don't care. It just doesn't make sense. Sorry, I'm off my high horse, but I'm just thinking, do I work at a daycare or do I work at a gym? Kind of a daycare. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. But anyway, moral of the stories, if you chew tobacco, take advice from me. No girl wants to see that. You're, you, no girl wants to see that. No girl wants to see that. No guy wants to see it's it. It's disgusting. It's gross. And you need to go clean your teeth out. Yeah. Word. All right. That was great. That was a mess. That was fantastic. My, that was my PSA. PMS PSA of the day. PMS PSA of the day. I like I am it. PMSing today. Yeah, I'm in. I'm I'm in an enclosed area with you. I, I am nervous. I'm scared. I can't even share some of the thoughts that went through my head today. It's so bad. Ooh, no, I can't. Let's because do it. No, people would judge me. They would. They would because it was bad. That's bad as what happened. I'll share with you later when we don't have the microphone on. Yes, and I will not <laughs> judge you because I already know. Like you can just say the topic, and I'll be like, "Yep, I know where she's going with this." <laughs> I'm sorry. So no, anyway. hey, you don't judge me for my sicknesses. Oh, goodness. So, anyway, that's that. You know, you're thinking about... The, when, when I was thinking about topics and you're thinking about these specialty podcasts, like people doing a specialty podcast, I'm thinking, you know, you can't do one that's focused on finances. You can't do one that's focused on history. Because you know what? What? People are going to listen to the good people. They're going to listen to the guys that are financial gurus and experts out there that always have podcasts. They're not going to listen to us. You know what, though? You know who we can compete with? Who? The dummies. The people with useless information, useless knowledge. It comes to couples bantering and being stupid. We can we can compete in that space. Where are you coming up with this? Like what? That's what goes on in my head when I'm thinking about the podcast. Because clearly, I can't help you with your finances. <laughs> yeah, I su- my, on Twitter, I follow Wu-Tang Financial. So I cannot help you with your finances. What is that? And if I do, you don't remember the group Wu-Tang Clan? Oh, you mean the actual group? I just thought it was not No, it's not the group. It's Wu-Tang Financial. It's really funny. They give financial advice. It's But it's ghetto financial Is it the actual advice. music group? No, but it's like it's their people. It's the Wu-Tang Financial, but it's not really a financial. It's a spoof. It's funny. But is it the Wu-Tang 
No, it's not the Wu Tang. Well, when I said when you said, "Don't you remember the Wu Tang?" It's Wu Tang Financial. And, okay, but I said I don't know what that is, and you said, "Don't you remember the group, the Wu Tang, whatever?" And I'm and that's why I'm thinking that's their that. Why would you ask me that? I thought you asked me something. I did. I said I don't know what that is. You were like, "You don't remember the group, the Wu Tang?" So I'm thinking it's the group you're talking about. Do you see what you're doing there to me? I do now. Yeah, I do. Since you pointed it out. Oh my goodness. Let's see I'm, if I can, let me see if I can give you an example of I some advice that they, you're what? I got my foot stuck right there. <laughs> Is it still stuck? No, I got it. Oh man. You were laughing at my pain. Not your pain, just the fact that you were. We are both repping the same. Bit. We're both repping Butch Halls right now. We are. We're Look Butch, at that. Butch Halls. Look. Hey. Anyway. Go choke somebody down at Butch Halls <laughs> M&A. <laughs> they don't choke M -M people. They don't choke people. They do two choke people. Well, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You, you choke people. Oh. I thought it was... Okay. Go down and choke somebody or learn how to choke somebody or do a good leg lock. They can teach you that. This podcast is sponsored by... <laughs> Butch House. Mixed martial arts. They're and advanced Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, by the one and only Butch House. We're going to have them back on here soon, by the way. So watch for that. But anyway, I, do we really need to know about Wu-Tang Financial? Is it an actual, what I want to know, is it an actual financial group or is it something funny? It's something funny. Gosh, that's all I wanted to know. Um, diversify your bonds. It was a, it was a Chappelle spoof. Oh, gosh. As expected, we get <sighs> deafening silence from Taylor Swift on the Federal Reserve rate hike. Just... Just, just stupid funny. stuff. I don't think it's funny. Sorry. They pin that? I don't think it's funny. There's some funny that stuff. That didn't make me laugh at What's all. What's this? Yeah, that looks pretty funny. What? All right, that's not good. We'll, we're I don't gonna, think we're that's move funny. Forward. Okay, cool. What do you think's funny? I, I, Let's wow. get really close in here. <laughs> we are really close hey, to each other. <laughs> this podcast is getting really intimate. You're, you're, I'm risking getting my face bit off. This reminds me of today because she's PMSing. Because she's PMSing, so I'm in the danger zone. But this guy on I was social media ing and I was on and this guy was like holding this giant turtle and the like from the back like back, he was like kinda hugging it. He was talking to it like a baby. He's like, Oh and the turtle's mouth was open <laughs> and he went in for a kiss and the turtle grabbed his nose. That's what I feel like right now. I feel like I'm like, Oh, everything's okay and she's like Rah! <laughs> I might. <laughs> no, man. That BMS, man, y'all can flip on a dime. Like, whoop. Yeah, it can go from, I see me talking right now. I can dig my, I might dig myself a hole <laughs> that I can't get out of. Your teeth look great, though. They don't. They look terrible. They don't have any tobacco in them. That's what I'm saying. Or blueberries or coffee grounds. Because sometimes saying. the coffee grounds can get into your coffee. That's understandable. That's a pass. Like, dude, you got something in your teeth? Oh, I just ate blueberries. Sweet. Anyway, I'm not going back down that. I'm not going back Let's down Let's stay that. off the tobacco. I'm not doing it. Hey, the other day you brought something up in our other podcast. Let's talk about that. Because today I did it on one of my texts to you. And, I'm pumped. And you, I thought that I thought maybe that you were shutting the conversation down, so I felt like I shouldn't say anything else to you. I shouldn't have said anything the other day. And if I would have thought about you being PMS today, I would have never used it. Because period. Here's the thing. I don't I don't use it like that. That's not what I mean by I it. I don't either, but I'm just saying But some, the other day you did, this is what you do. One day you mean one thing by something and then no, you mean another one. Is I meant it the other day and I mean it now, but I mean it not in the way you think I mean it. Wow. <laughs> You think that I'm saying that everybody uses it that way. I'm just saying sometimes it feels that way. Yeah. Okay. Well, and sometimes I use it that should way. Should we explain what we're talking about in case somebody missed the previous podcast? No, we need to keep them in suspense. No, we this is how they do it in Hollywood. No, we're not in they Hollywood. They don't give them the. They get the we're hook in, in, and then they just drag them through. Hey. Drag them through. Hey. And make them wait. JMR. What? We're not in Hollywood. We are in the closet we're in, in South Charleston, Charleston, West Virginia. West 2509. Virginia. We are. Okay. So here's what we're talking about. Uh, when, is it called something? Why are you why did you just moan? I just needed to or do sigh. it. Or sigh. You didn't moan. You I sighed. needed to do it. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Everything I do doesn't mean anything. Always means something. <laughs> All right. So what we mean is when you're texting someone 
And if you hold down on the text that you just got, you can, a bar comes up with a heart, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a ha ha, an exclamation point, which I'm really not sure what that means, or a question mark. So Jeff was saying, if you respond with like a thumbs up or a heart or a ha ha, that means you're done talking, peace out. And I don't think that, I don't use it that way. I use a ha ha or a thumbs up so I don't have to type it in the bar, I guess. And then I go on to say something else. I don't mean conversations over all the time. Now, I will say it is a, it is a way you could end a conversation, like seeing a little bit, okay, and then just hold it down, go to that thumbs up. But hold on. Come in. What's happening? It might be the birthday boy. I think it's the birthday boy. I could kind of, I don't know. The knock didn't seem right. Come in. There's somebody here. They There's somebody that just... Uh, they left. They What do they call that? Where they knock and leave? I don't know. But anyway, they're gone. Anyway, so... We're talking about the little things that pop up. I already said this. Right. So you're saying it's conversation. Tell over. me that somebody doesn't think that every once oh, in a while. Oh, I'm sure some people that think it's that. it's like we're having a conversation. We're having a good conversation. It's pretty wordy or texty. Those are words. Right. On the screen. Right. And you're going, you're going back and forth, uh, and then you say something, and you just get a like on it. Like a thumbs up. Right. No, I don't then think... Then it's like, I'm out. I'm tapping out this conversation. Like, I mean... Now I'm just liking it instead of responding to it. Like, I guess maybe you, it depends on who you're talking to. I don't use it that way. So if you get a text from me, and there's just a thumbs up, I mean, I'm not... I mean, if you want to keep talking, keep talking. Me too. If I need to go, I'll just be like, hey, talk to you later. I don't need to subliminally tell you through an emoji. Like, I got to go. Like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. That's a way to shut it down. Okay, see you tomorrow. Or, okay, I'll see you later tonight. Fine. I, I mean, what, what's wrong with just being straightforward and be like, I'm People done, don't done, like being straightforward. We like to be mysterious. We like to be Are they done talking? aggressive. Are they not done talking? Does she want me to keep talking? Does he not want me to keep talking? Do they like me? Do they Is not like me? Is he shutting me down? Hey, I'm just saying this could be a common thing that people think about that I mean, nobody's maybe. bringing up. I haven't thought about it until you brought it up because I just thought it was another way of using an emoji. Just a little, a little bit easier. More cute. Quicker. More quick. Not many options, though. What does the exclamation point mean? Does it mean like, what? It means what? like, yes. It could mean yes. like, like, like if, if you send me, if you make a statement, that I strongly agree with, I'm going to use that. Okay. So if you say, it's an agree. If you say, J money, your money, I'm going to use it Never on top that. of it. I don't talk like that. But anyway. Um, Punk. I just didn't know what that really was for. The, other, say, the other ones are self-explanatory, but that one I don't know. Um, but you, you're telling me that you like to text with different apps. Oh, yeah. You got me all confused. All right. All right. No. iMessage is fine for, like, texting with one person. Okay? I hate group texts. Are if you bringing that up? If you're going to group text, I fully support WhatsApp. And here's why. Another commercial. Because I'm in, like, a three, four, four years going on a group text in WhatsApp. The great thing about WhatsApp is I'm in this group text with 12 dudes. Oh my, my homies gosh, that's exhausting. in Atlanta. And we're always texting stuff. So whenever you open it up, it's where you left off last. So I'll see my text and I'll see, okay, I've got 137 texts in WhatsApp. That from panics the group. me. Okay. And I've been in meetings or whatever. Well, I open it up. And the cool thing about it is you're scrolling through and you're just kind of trying to catch up. But then you see something that you've got to say something about. Well, then you can hold down on that one and reply to it. And it goes to where they're at in the text presently. So it goes all the way to the bottom and it reposts that. But underneath it, you say what you I want. I get that. That's cool. So that's cool. Like, so if you and me, like last night, it was you and me and Butch and Lisa are having this group text. And they're saying stuff, but I'm not really, I'm doing stuff. So I'm not seeing it. So I have to read the whole thing. If I want to reference what you said 10 texts ago, all I can do is like it with the little emoji things. Oh, or, that means Jeff's not talking. Or I have to say, hey, what you said way back then when I wasn't no, in the I, conversation. I, I, I like that. I really thought that was funny. Instead of being able, like in WhatsApp, I can hold it down. I can repose. I can bring that back into the fray. I like that. 
it's freaking awesome. But it makes group texting so much more I enjoyable. I despise group texting. Not all group texting. Like the one we have with like Butch and Lisa's cool. We have a couple other couples we group text with. That's fine because it doesn't go on and on and on and on forever. But you get in some of these group texts and it doesn't stop. I have to put on do not disturb. Yeah, that's a good feature. That do not disturb feature. Because really I can't good. handle it. Like I just am done. When you all are talking about things I don't need to know. But you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Okay. But I, I like that. That's a good feature of WhatsApp. But I don't use WhatsApp. I just think WhatsApp is encrypted as well, so that's good. Well. There you go. And it's owned by Facebook. So if you like Facebook, you'd like WhatsApp maybe. And that's really it. I just felt like I needed another hand in there. It <laughs> felt proper. It did. It felt like it's Oh my gosh. Um, but if so if you're gonna group text. I highly advise you not, but if you're going to group message, use WhatsApp with all your homies. It's a great way to group message. What's your favorite? You your what's your favorite social media? Twitter. I knew it. Why? Hands down, Twitter. Ugh, I don't like Twitter. It's non-personal. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> I have seen things on Twitter that is highly personal. No, 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 no. I mean, it's not like Facebook's like too. It's like you don't want to get on there because it's all kinds of people that you really, really know, and you don't want to get into the conversation. Oh, okay. Because people are fighting, and it goes on and on. I see what you're saying. And it's they too, fight on Twitter too. I've seen it. They do fight on Twitter. I've seen it. But you can stay out of it. My stuff's just all. Stay out of it on Facebook too. Yeah, you can, but it's not the same. Listen, Twitter is awesome. I don't like Twitter. I don't it's even just have the Twitter. It's easy to use. It's fast. I don't even have, have the have to... Twitter app on my phone. Oh, you're so cool. But you have all the other. What's your favorite? Instagram. Uh, Instagram's number two to me. Instagram and Snapchat. I like Snapchat. Snapchat's great. Did you know it was originally invented as a cheater app? I heard you say that. I can see why. Well, that's what. I mean, I mean that was the concept when they started it. You know, it was like, let's make this for people who, the, the same people who would use, what's that? Jack and Jill, Doc, no, Jack and Jill really loved each other. They ran up a hill or down a hill. Where did Jack and Jill come into I'm this? I'm trying to, it was it, Ashley Madison. The same people that would use <laughs> Ashley Madison will want to use the, the Snapchat cheater version. Now Snapchat's mainstream. Yeah. Right? It went from that oh, and it yeah. was like, you know what? Snapchat one day was like, I'm coming to the Lord. I'm going to get saved and I don't want to just be a cheater app anymore. I, I wanna, want to be more to the world. I want to. I want to be, I want to be a really good cheater app where people don't. <laughs> You're terrible. Anyway, all the apps are the same. You can be. They can all be cheater apps. Just they can so all be know. cheater apps. You can, and you they can, can message and, and ruin your life you on can, any of the apps you if can you would like. Fight on any of them. You can fight on any of them. You can send nudes on all of them. And they're all personal. They're all personal unless you make them non-personal by making it making it a fake account and not telling anybody your name. That's not what I meant, but anyway, Me um, I just, I don't know. I like, I like all of them. I just like social media, obviously. You know what? That, I saw the person. other day that, um, some insane amount of people have kind of like left Facebook recently. Mm -hmm. It just, it's just happened. But good news for Facebook. Almost that same amount has joined up on Instagram. So Facebook owns Instagram. So right. Big deal. Right. Right. You're losing them to a better platform anyway. Instagram's better, I think. I mean, I don't know. There's pros and cons to all of them, I think. No, I think but I like them all. I don't know. I don't hate anything. Hating is just, just not good. Oh, cool. Jeff is sad. No, no, no. I hate... I'm saying what comes to social media. Huh. Well, there's probably... Let, let's think about this. What other, in, what other... What other social medias are there? There's Instagram. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sure there's tons. There's that Facebook. Know about... What about these secret apps? There's Twitter. Twitter. I don't know. I, that's the only ones I really, that's the only ones I mess with. Yeah. It's, wild. it's, I really it's a wild with. world we live in. <laughs> what did we do before all those? I don't know. It was boring, I guess. I know. That's what they were talking about. I was listening to some um, comics talking. And they're talking about how now it's so hard because... They would they would travel and they'd do their their bits and they'd work on them because you know like these guys do specials, but they usually have an idea of a joke. Like they'll say this could be funny, 
Mm-hmm. Well, they say before they ever really get the joke to work, they go on stage for like a year or more before they put together their show and they just practice. So they'll bomb on the jokes that are have us done on our couch in the Netflix. They're jokes that they, they bomb on night after night and they keep tweaking them and trying to figure out. They're like, I know this is going to be funny. and But nowadays it's so hard because if they're famous, people will video it oh, or they'll try yeah. to video it and they'll and they'll blast it on, on social and media so and not, ruin oh, it. So yeah. the next time they go to another city or they go back to that show, that store or wherever they do their comedy, people were like, you know, already heckling them over yeah. it but because they've seen it and they, they can't even work on their, because they're just like us. Like if you're going to get ready for a show, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're going to get ready for a show, if you're going to be competing or doing, you got you to gotta build up for it. Mm-hmm. You don't just go and have a joke and it's funny. Just like you don't go and have the body you need right. to compete. So they got to work their craft every night for a year or more to but get to the point. But it's already out there because people are snapping it and putting yeah. it on Instagram. And that's why they do that thing now, which a lot of them said it's just not worth it really because half the crowd's up and gone most of the time. But the bags, we talk about the bags now. Like you'll go to some shows and people, there's a service now when you walk in, your phone goes in a bag. Why? So that it doesn't disrupt the crowd, and then yeah. if it if it ring if you get a text or anything, you can leave at any time and take it out of the bag, but you have to go out before you can open the bag. You have to go out in the lobby. Yeah. So your phone, you can't have it on in the dark and the lights and distracting the flashes and. I mean, I can see that for some so, things. You know what I mean? But they say in some places it's not worth it. Like yeah. they say it's almost more distracting because there's half the crowd's always up and I down, mean, yeah. moving and no. in and out and. Nobody can just sit and you, watch an hour show anymore. Then you, the, I was just getting ready to say that. I was like, oh, they're not taking my phone. And then I stopped for a second. I was like, yeah, I mean, it might be nice to sit someplace without your phone. Because I am that person who, if I forget my phone at the house and I'm just running to the gas station to get something, I will go back. Oh, me too. You pan- But that's in a normal setting. But you know there's times where we've said... We've gone to do something. We've said, we're not going to ha- have our phone for this long. So if you try to get us, we're going to be out of... And it's kind of relaxing. It's kind of relieving. It is kind of nice. Like not... To totally be off grid. But it can't be... You've got a plan for it. That's the sad part. It's like, yeah. you can't just automatically... Like, if I'm... Like, I do that... I do that at work, man. I'll just get up and leave my phone on my desk. And I'll walk down the street to Fruit or to freaking CVS or wherever... And I'll notice, I'll look at my watch to see, and I'll see that it's not connected. I'll be like, where's my phone? And I'm like, start to hyperventilate. I like, know. What, what if what if somebody needs me? <laughs> <laughs> what if Ange texts me? What if one of the kids calls me? What if I got it? And it's like, yeah, crazy. I know. It's, it's, it's too dependent. But I mean, it's kind of nice at the same time because, you know, when the other day I was sitting at a very long train, on Jefferson Road. It took forever. Like, one of those ones, it was one of the ones that kind of, like, slowed down to almost a stop. Oh, I hate and that. And you're stuck. There's nowhere you can go. I had a phone. I got to multitask. Because I do a lot of, I do a lot of my work on my phone. You know what I'm saying? So, it, I, think about I could that. sit there and do my work. Just think about that when we were kids. You had a mini, you have a little TV in your car. Like I know. You could have got on the Hulu app and watched anything on TV yeah. you wanted. You could have got on YouTube and watched anything. You could have got on, you can watch, it's crazy. It is. It We're is crazy. entertained everywhere we go. I know, in the waiting room. Oh. And, and if it buffers for a second, we almost throw our phone through the freaking wall. <laughs> yeah, what? I don't have any service. <laughs> anyway. And then, you know, but it is convenient too because I, um, Text my kids from downstairs if I need them. I don't have to yell through the house. I mean, it's it's nice. But it is also not good to always have your phone. I wish that I had times where I didn't have my phone. I wish I had a time at night where it's like I put my phone down and I don't pick it up till the morning. Yeah, no, I talk to people that are like that. I need that. That are like, they, they just, they turn their phone off at, I at need 9 that. o'clock and they're done until the morning I it ne- comes on. I need that because it's for, for more than one reason. One, so I can shut my brain down. Two, sometimes after I've had a few glasses of wine, I will post something. No, you can't. There's a rule you can't. And nothing do that. bad or anything, but like something will it'll seem funny, and I'll post it, like I'll put it on my Snap story or my IG story or something. I usually don't mess with Facebook. It might, because I think it's funny or, you know, clever. And I'll wake up the next morning and I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh my gosh, and I'll delete thinking? and I'll delete it because I'm like, yeah. oh, what in the world was I doing? But you know what I mean. So that reason too. Yeah. But anyway. 
speaking of, my child is texting me right now. He needs to ask dad a question. Well, I think it's a good time to shut this podcast down. It's his birthday. You better go get that question answered. The question he's going to ask me. And by the way, his birthday dinner, just so y'all know, if you need a good birthday dinner idea, here's one for you. He says, for my birthday dinner, I want spiral mac and cheese and crazy bread from Little Caesars. Done. And that's what he got. Done. Easy. Made me happy because I didn't have to cook this big <laughs> elaborate dinner. <laughs> spiral hey. mac and cheese and crazy bread. He had a really good lunch, so. Makes an 11-year-old boy happy. Hey, whatever makes him happy. All right. It's his birthday. It is. Good night. Peace out.